Well, good afternoon YouTube. Mike again, Corners Nice and Camping, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've been out, but um, you've probably guessed I'm back on Dartmoor today. Um, I'm going to Dinger Tour. I've parked in uh, Road Tour Car Park, so it's not a long walk. It's not just only three or four miles, I think. Um, but I needed to get out. I haven't been out for such a long time, and uh, I got some new kit to try out. So I was itching to get out, really. Um, so as you've probably noticed, um, and if you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all those good things, social media, eh? takes over your life doesn't it <laughs> but if you follow me on any of those you would have seen this bag I've uh, purchased a Z-Pax Arc Haul I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go and have a look at this pack and uh, it is it does come from America so be prepared for a long wait and then when you've paid your vast amount of dollars to buy the buy the pack good old blighty stings you with well all I can say it was a massive amount of money to uh, import it into the country an awful lot of money and uh, you know I, kn I knew I was gonna have to pay customs v v VAT handling charge from Good old Parcel Force, thank you Parcel Force for charging me that amount of money when I'd already paid for posters and packaging, but uh, there you go. So yeah, new pack, and I've also got a quilt. Um, I'll show you that in a clip in a minute. So if you want to bear with me when I'm setting up camp, I'll, um, I'll show you all the goodies and the new bits and pieces. I've, I've got some Cuban fibre bags and I've tried to go lightweight. And the reason for that is not because I'm a lightweight hiker, it's because my knees are knackered. And um, there's two or three things I've been doing. I'm just going to make sure I'm going the right way here. So I just want to check, check the map. Um, so there's a few things I've been doing to try and lighten the load obviously one of those is the pack another one is the um, the quilt which is super lightweight but super toasty and super warm and the other thing is the shelter and I've got the sexy hex peak with me again today because uh, my new shelter hasn't arrived yet and that's also coming from America. So uh, when I've got that, and I've paid the import duty and the VAT and the tax and the customs, all those bits and pieces and all good old parcel forces handling fee, I'll uh, I'll get it out and I'll show you guys. I've got a new viewer. He's been watching me for about five minutes. Oh, she has, I should say. Yes, it's a, it's a she. So, so lots of new goodies to show you. And um, I've also been on a diet um, for the last, well, coming up for four months now. And I'm just a shade, I've just lost just a shade under three stones. So I'm really pleased with my progress on that. I have odd, the odd roast dinner, maybe a slice of pizza, but you know I can count those on one hand in the last three months. Got very little beer, but I have brought some today because it's a treat, and it's supposed to be enjoyable. So I'm just edging on the on this cloud and it's been following me all the way a few little rain spots here a few spots there but um, nothing to talk about yet but 
on the way here about half an hour ago there was persistent rain and I did think I was going to get wet but it's alright, it's all good so I'm off to doing a tour and I'm going to meet up with Carl with a K Deadfall Outdoors uh, link in the description below and uh, he's been out a whole day already he came out yesterday just going to find Carl now and see where he is he's just texted me he's uh, setting up already the time is five past five it's the 21st of July and it's uh, we've had a heat wave it's been absolutely bloody roasting for like three or four weeks all the reservoirs are bone dry and there is talk of um, water shortage and hose pipe bands and the day I come out to go on the moors it's raining so but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it snowed in a minute to be honest up here you can have all the seasons in about 25 minutes up here right let's go and find Carl and I'll bring you back in a bit right we're almost there and I think I think I can see Carl waiting for me with a cold beer in his hand there he is look there he is see him there he is can't see nothing in his hand though Whew. well that was a really good walk in that I've really enjoyed that the knee was all right as well I've got it strapped up but uh, yeah good good walk and the sun's come back out and we'll black is over the other side now so right let's get in there crack a beer open cool. right I've arrived at Dinger Tour and uh, Carl's here already look Deadfall Outdoors I've been practicing his name <laughs> that's what we see so that's his little setup look stick your nose in there and have a look at this That's not um, piss in a bottle. That's um, Dartmoor water. Proper Dartmoor water, that is. <laughs> I've brought two litres of my own, I ain't drinking it. <laughs> I'll end up with the shits for a fortnight. Right, I think I found a flat enough spot, so I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse, try the time lapse out on this GoPro. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, this is the quilt I was on about earlier. Um, it's the cumulus, it's come from Poland, I believe. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. And there, this one's actually got down fill in it. This is a 350. Um, and I've actually had the down in this one treated with waterproofer, which um, did cost a little bit extra. But I think with the damp you get up on the moors, I think it was worth it. But, uh, so there you go, it lofts up really nice, you've got straps on the back and, um, and the idea is you don't lay on it, you lay on your mat, your mat is supposed to be insulated so that keeps you warm and this keeps you warm over the top but this one actually opens up fully so you can use it like a blanket as well if you wanted to but um, I'm probably just going to use it as it is with the foot box closed up you get little tag toggles here to close the foot box right up stop the draft getting in on your toes and the straps go around your bed or your mattress and you can clip yourself in and out Carl's got one he's you got the 250, yeah, the 250. he's got the 250 and um, yeah. what what are the ratings on these Carl 
I forget what the ratings are actually, but um, I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, there's there's coals. This is a different colour green. And they're both made of a Pertex material, which is like a waterproof, very lightweight weight, waterproof material. And it's breathable as well. Um, yeah. I've Cole's seen. tried his, I haven't tried mine yet, so you yeah. thought yours was quite hot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite warm. The last two times I've tried it, it's been obviously in summer, it's been... So, but the idea is, is if it gets too warm, you just chuck it off. And, um, yeah, you, you can pop, like I was doing, I was popping my legs out of the um, yeah. foot box. So, you take, lift your legs in and out the foot box, the zip only comes up to that part, which is approximately two thirds of the way down. Just below your knee, I think it is. And also, you can connect it around the top right in, in the winter and you can cinch this in right around your neck but um, I think the wait for these are about three to four weeks I think from the date of um, ordering and um, yeah for all the way from Poland it took about about five or six days I suppose to get here for mine. Yeah it didn't take long. And um, yeah they're really really nice company good to deal with they answer your emails really quickly mm -hmm. next day and um, if you want different spec specs, you can just order it. This was just the, the regular, or the, I think this is the medium width, but they do a wider width, they do a longer bag if you want it. Yeah. They do do sleeping bags as well. They do overstuffed as well. Yeah, overstuffed. So I'll put a link in the description, in the box below, and go and pay them a visit. There it is, 350 quilt. On embroidered on it and uh, Coles is a 250 and they do a 150 as well obviously for the summer months yeah. I so. think they may even do a 450 for yep. extreme oh, they, they do a 450 yeah. as well well we'll try that out tonight and see how we get on lovely it is <laughs> Right, so I just thought I'd um, show you around before it gets too dark. We're at Dinger Tour, I may have mentioned that earlier. But um, the sun is just about to go down over there. We've sat round, we've got all the tents up, shelters are up, there's coral. And uh, we've had a couple of beers. It's got a bit nippy now. But uh, yeah, I don't know if the GoPro's doing that any justice, but it looks quite nice. Don't know if you can see it, but just there is Fur Tour, and uh, Dave Vaughan's up there. Dave, I don't do hills, Vaughan. Find him on YouTube. Hello, Dave. Give us a wave. You can see me. But, uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little tour of this. A lot of animal activity along around here. Cow crap and sheep crap everywhere. And there's uh, if you're into your uh, letter boxing and all that, there's. Uh, one here, look. Just beyond that rock. I didn't tell you it was there, all right? You're gonna come and find it. And there she goes, she's going down. Beautiful. What a cracking place. And it's, uh, very difficult to believe that this is like an hour and five minutes, hour and ten minutes from my doorstep. And uh, you think of all the fantastic, lovely places in the world you can visit, and you you got this right on the doorstep. Unbelievable. And unbelievably beautiful as well. That's probably the place to be tonight. It's just there. I think this is, I think they call this Forsland's Ledge here. 
but um, I don't know if you can make it out but just there there's a lookout post for the military that would have been a cracking little spot tonight with that sun sunset but uh, there you are dinger tour well good morning campers it's not raining it's not misty and um, my free G's just cut in because I'm going to get a million and one notifications now and there's Carl out. he's taking his lady tights off he's, he feels better now um, I did kind of miss the sunrise this morning I was far too comfortable in my ex bed and uh, new quilt which was a resounding success normally when I go camping I have like um, I've got a couple of mummy bags and for some reason they always wrapped, get wrapped around my legs and I end up waking up four or five times a night to rearrange the bag but uh, the quilt was brilliant and uh, another thank you to Dave Vaughan for uh, introducing me to the quilt yeah really good what a cracking day absolutely cracking um, there's the camp there's the setups look that's uh, mine and Carl's there lovely little spot Carl found for us it's, uh, yesterday afternoon I'm on top of the tour here now just looking out over the top and uh, yeah beautiful here's one mess I started packing a few things away but um, yeah, it was a comfortable night last night I didn't hear any snoring coming from Carl's direction. <laughs> he heard me apparently. <laughs> but uh, yes, it's not a secret, I do snore just a little. Yes, so. This valley runs down through here. This goes to Meldon Reservoir. We were just, I was just talking about it with uh, Carl. Uh, and Meldon's down the end. We think that one up there is Salt and Tor, where we camped at Christmas. And um, I think that's uh, Prince Town Mass there, isn't it, Cole? Yeah. That's Prince Town Mass in the distance over here. And over here is Fur Tor, where Dave Vaughan and the guys are from the forum on a big meet and greet and camp together. Sounds like they had a good time. They're all up and I think they're all on the way at the minute. They got up quite early this morning. But, uh, right. Let's pack some gear away. And uh, get the all day breakfast out. on the Wayfarers all day breakfast.
Right, that's it. We're all packed up. Everything's been picked up. There's no rubbish. We'll be taking all our rubbish home. So uh, we're going to make our way back now. It's not that far. And uh, to save poor old Carl's legs walking about 10 miles that way, I'm going to give him a lift part of the way. Um, so we're going to walk back this way together now. So uh, we'll crack on. We'll bring you back in a bit. So we just come off the path a little bit and we're going to a uh, road tour and the car is parked just the other side. There's, uh, I can see from here there's some little ponies and their foals up here and they're really cute so hopefully I can get some shots of them in a minute but um, if you look here there's uh, West Mill and West Mill, West Mill Tour and this is Row Tour and there's Carl there. Been a nice pleasant walk back, lovely breeze that's kept us cool and kept the midges away and uh, yeah it's been really nice. Nice slow amble back, it's, uh, it's only 20 to 12 so we thought we'd take this one in. So we're almost back to the car, I can see it in the distance so thankfully it's still here. But there has been a few break-ins up on the moors in the uh, moorland car parks. thing to remember is don't leave anything in the car. But uh, yeah, it's been a really enjoyable camp. Uh, that was a nice little moment there with the pony. He walked right up to me. I don't normally touch the ponies or any of the animals up on the moor. So don't want them. Um, sort of bonding with humans because they're wild animals but he was a cheeky little chap he was just walked straight up to me so but yeah it's been a good camp it's been nice to catch up with Carl again um, only a little bit of a walk but I haven't been out for about three months so I didn't want to go too mad so yeah it's been enjoyable weather's been really nice don't normally get that do we mate no. and uh, don't forget Keep subscribing, keep liking, sharing and all that good stuff. And most of all, don't forget. Stay Cornish. Stay Cornish. See you later, guys. Catch you on the next one.